things up a little bit. Okay. All right. Shawan, Shawan. All right. Let me get a drink of water right quick. We're going to get started, man. Prophecies are turning up. Let's go. Things are turning up, man. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, man. We almost out of here. All right. We are almost out of here, brothers and sisters. All right. Things are turning up, and it's turning up fast, man. Okay. And I think that's what I'm going to call this lesson. Prophecies are turning up. All right. Things are wrapping up fast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the shit over with, man. I'm ready. Let's go. Those brothers out here and your few sisters, all right, we're ready. Let's go. Come on, Esau. What you waiting for, man? All right, let's get, let's get this shit over with, man. We ready. Let's turn it up, all right? But hey, the glory how about you all shot is about to allow you devils to turn up, man. All right, and I'm quite sure y'all seen that video, all right, from the brother, uh, I'm, I don't know the brother's name. I forgot the brother's name, man. Uh, but the brother from GMS Vegas sit down 144K, man. All right, where he showed these collage videos where these Edomites are talking about civil war, baby. It's about to go down, okay? And, of course, you all know the uh, WHO have finished their meeting. So, hey, things are about to turn up, man. All right? So, we're here. Prophecies are turning up the chariots, okay? All right. They already labeling the chariots of the Lord. How about Shin Yao Shai? A national threat, what they ignorantly called UAPs, all right? Uh, U unidentified aerial phenomenons, okay? All right. But we call them the chariots, man. And that's what they're called. The chariots of the Lord. How about Shin Yao Shai, okay? So prophecies are turning up, man, okay? We are almost home. Rock day, how about Shimmy Shai? But before I get started with this lesson, let me do my opening, man. All right. Rock day, how? Rock day, how shy? Rock day, how? Rock day, how shy? Rock day, how? Rock day, how shy? Rock now, rock now, rock now. Call him like la. Yahawa, by Shim, Yahawa Shai, by Shim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and citations goes to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. To you brothers out there, pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity into the Yahweh, the few sisters that are listening, learning to you, I say, Shalom. All right. Prophecies are turning up, man. 2022. This is why Elder Apostle Tahar labeled this year 2022. The year turn up, man. Prophecies are about to turn up. Let's go. Let's let's go, man. Okay? We ready. Okay? Things are heating up. And they're heating up fast, man. All right? And I guarantee you by probably in the middle, by the end of the summer, going into the late summer, yeah. It's, it's going to be horrible out here, man. Okay? All right? So without further ado, let's open up with a scripture, man. All right? This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And that's what we do. We measure the times diligently. Okay? The times are being measured diligently. The prophecies. All right? We're prophesying to you. Okay? Of what's to come. And it's nothing good, man. Nothing good is coming to this place. But death and destruction, man. Babylon the Great America is about to be destroyed, man. Okay? All right, you got a world famine that's happening right before your eyes, okay? These devils are about to push that MOT to the B, all right? That's about to be pushed real soon, and they already got the system set up and ready for it to go, man, okay? So any day, they can crash this old system out, and that's it, man, okay? You know, they already talking about summer blackout, black outages, man, power outages, all right? I experienced one the other day, okay, nine hours, man, <laughs> in the dark, okay, from 3 a.m. that morning to around about 12, 20 p.m., man, all right, so, and it's going to be longer than that, man, okay, so get ready, okay, all right, we're here, okay, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it anymore that we're not here, the prophecies are no longer tearing, man, 
All right, let's read this. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I told thee before. These prophecies were told before they were going to happen. And that's what the men of the Lord are doing. We're prophesying. We're saying, all right, before. All right, prophesying means to say before. Excuse me, sloppy. But, all right, we're prophesying and telling you what's coming before it happens. From when it does happen, hey, you can't say you didn't know. All right, no excuses, man. All right, you Israelites ain't gonna have no excuses for why you didn't get this truth or why you didn't understand, man. Okay, because hey, you were warned. Okay, all right, verse two. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, so. This world is about to be visited by you. How about Shemiah Shai, man? Okay, it's already being visited with the uh, plagues, okay? But it's really about to be visited when Yahweh Shai comes back. And who is coming back to a world ruled by? Esau, even the so called white man, okay? Verse 3 Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, you're already seeing the uproars of the people. People are not going for what's about to come, man, okay? This NWOD. All right, having your boy kill Gates and Charles then that uh that German dude. All right, with the uh world he world economic forum, I think it is. All right, Klaus Schwab. Okay, all right. So these Americans are not going for the bullshit anymore, man. Okay, <laughs> hey man, time is flying and it's flying fast. All right, and like I told you earlier about those collage videos of these Edomites talking about going to Civil War, all right? Hey, these diehard patriotic Edomites, <laughs> they ready, man. They are ready for Civil War, and we are about to see a Civil War on a high-scale level, man, okay? And eventually, they're going to blame the Israelites, man, all right? Then those race wars are going to take place, man, all right? So, hey. Things are moving, and things are moving real fast, man, okay? Verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, like as all, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, sloppy, sorry about that. Second Exodus chapter 9, verse 5, For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is being manifest right before your eyes, man. Okay, so prophecies are speeding up and they're speeding up fast, man. Okay, verse 6 Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. All right, this is what Yahusha told us to look for, man. Okay, so let's go to Matthew chapter 24 and I'm gonna start at verse 3. Okay, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. And he said, and as he sat on the mount of, upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Whose world? Esau's rulership, man. His world, an aeon, end of an age. This is the end of Esau's rulership over the world, man. Okay? His age, his rulership is coming to an end. Like he tells you in 2 Israel chapter 6 and verse 9, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Okay? So we're at the end of this devil's rulership. Okay? This devil's kingdom is falling and it is falling fast, man. Okay? I'm read verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 5, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, or the Hamashiach, and shall deceive many, all right? And I'm quite sure y'all saw that video, man, that short video where, uh, I think it was Sakari, man, all right? On the street corner, all right, you know, with guns, all right? Look, when these devils roll on us, man, this is what they're going to put us in the category of, us being terrorists, all right? And this is more ammunition to come after the men of the Lord, man. And those guys there, man, they ain't men of the Lord, man. All right? Those guys are not men of the Lord. Why in the hell do you need a gun at camp, man? Prophesying. All right? These guys, that goes to show them, them guys don't got faith, man. 
They don't got faith in Yah Bashim Yahshai that you got to have a freaking gun while you prophesying and trying to wake your people up. Got uh, high capacity guns, nothing like AK 47s. And man, look, if you following those guys, man, I highly suggest you stop, man, because them guys there, all right? And that's what they're going to use. And this is what Esau's going to use to blame us, man. You're going to categorize us as being terrorists, man. All right. Like it tells you in Revelations 12 and 10, the accuser of our brother is cast down, man. And these devils are going to accuse us before our power, man. See, they're going to say, see, 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 those guys carrying guns and stuff. They're going to try to take matters into their own land. And hey, this is not for us to take matters into our own hands, man. As a matter of fact, I'm going to come back to the scripture, man. Because these guys, they're going way off, man. Okay? The Bible tells you that vengeance belongs to the Lord, man. And as a matter of fact, let me read that. This is Romans 12, and I'm going to start at verse 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Verse 18. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. This is not our fight, man. Okay? We're not going to do anything until your house shot comes back. All right? We're spiritual people, man. We ain't carnal. That's Esau's blessing, man. Okay? That's Esau's blessing. Esau gets down like that. Us? Man, we're spiritual. Listen, look, we're waiting on spiritual power, man. Me, I'm waiting on the spiritual powers that are going to come, man. Okay? This is what we waiting for. We ain't thinking about no goddamn, <laughs> no guns and all that shit, man. That's what Esau even going to use against us, man. Okay? And those guys, and there's another group that do that same shit, man. HOI. All right, you guys that carry them damn guns, man. Hey. You blame making the ministry to blame, man. Okay? All right. This is, uh, let's read Romans 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord, how about Shinyal Shai? Those guys, they don't trust in the Lord, how about Shinyal Shai? Yeah, how about Shinyal Shai? It's locking, getting tongue tied, man. <laughs> All right? Hey, they trust in their weapons, they guns. Guns ain't gonna do you no good, man. Let's get a, uh, scripture on that, man. Okay? Let's go to Psalms 44. I know I'm getting off subject a little bit, but I got to talk about this, man. It's the spirit, all right? Psalms 44 and verse 6. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me, all right? That's Esau Eden's blessing. He think, look, if the gun is not going to save Esau Eden, what in the hell makes you think a gun is going to save you Jakes, man? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans when the time comes, man. All right? Esau's blessing is not even going to save his ass, man. All right? Especially when a man getting down with those spiritual powers. Psh, man, it's over with. You think a damn gun is going to be useful when Esau and them rolls up on the men of the Lord? Hell no, man. All right? The men of the Lord are going to be, man, men of the Lord are going to be able to do shit that, <laughs> like you see in those superhero movies, man. Those, reading those comic books, man. Okay? All right? Esau, his blessing is not even going to be able to save his ass, but he think it is. And you, Jace, man, you think like that, hey, you're going to be destroyed alone with Esau, the so-called white man, all right? Like Yahushua told Peter, man, all right, when uh, Peter smote one of those uh, servants, those Roman soldiers, ear off, all right, Yahushua told Peter to put his sword back, all right, and say he live by the sword, you die by the sword, man. And a lot of you Jays going to die by the sword, man, thinking the gun is going to save your ass. The gun is not going to save you in a time of trouble, man, okay? It ain't even going to be able to save Esau, even the so-called white man. What in the fuck makes you think it's going to save you, okay? Psalms 44, verse 6 again. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and have put them to shame that hate us. The Lord, how about she out shy is going to save us, man, all right? And let's get another scripture, all right? We're going to get back on subject in a minute, okay? But I got to address this. I got to address this, man, okay? This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, Yahweh, Shai. We're supposed to wait on the Lord, man, okay? 
And the Lord says he have his angels encamp around them that fear him and deliver them, man. Okay? So what in the hell do you need a gun for? Okay? That's intimidating people, man. That's not what we're out there to do. You're supposed to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, man. All right? I tell you, Jake is just, Jake just something else. <laughs> All right, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, how about she y'all shot? Until the day that I rise up to the prey, the Lord, how about she y'all shot? Okay? For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy, man. All right, when the Lord comes back, he coming back with fire, man. Like he tells you in Isaiah 66 and verse 15, 16, the Lord is coming back to plead with the nations with fire. Okay? The high laser being terrified from the chariots and, of course, the ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay? Let's get one more and then I'm going to get back on topic. Okay? All right. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Snogging. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. Snogging. For though we war, like, well, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Verse 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right, we're spiritual, man. This Bible is doing enough damage to these devils, man. All right, like it tells you in Hebrews 4 and 12, the, um, this word is sharpened in two-edged sword, roughly paraphrased. I know I'm butchering. I might have to go and get I'm going to go on and get it. Let me finish. Let me finish reading this, though. All right, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through power to the pulling down of strongholds, man. We're pulling down strongholds with this word itself. This word is a weapon, man. Okay? This Bible is our sword, not no damn gun, no Glock 45 and an AK-47 assault rifle and AR-15s and all that shit. Man, no. Okay? Um, let's go to the scripture since I said it. Let's, yeah, let's go to Hebrews 4 and 12, okay? This word is doing enough damage to these devils, man, all right? These devils, these Edomites, and these heathen nations are shook by this word, man, okay? This is Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the divinest sunder of soul, and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart man this word is sharper than any two-edged sword man okay powerful than any weapon what in the hell do you need a gun for man all right these devils are getting their ass kicked by this word that's why they trying to hurry up to ban this word man because this word is kicking their ass okay all right so hey this word is already doing enough damage so what do you need a gun for man okay all right, let's go back. Let's go back on subject. All right, go back on subject. Okay, let's go back to Matthew chapter 24 and verse 5. I just wanted to address that. That was the spirit. All right, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed of the Amashiach, and shall deceive many. Though, hey, they're leading the flock to the slaughter, man. Okay, and hey. And many of you people following these guys, man, hey, I advise you stop, all right? Verse 6, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. You're already hearing the rumors of wars, man, all right? These nations, all right, talking about World War Three. okay? Look what's going on in Ukraine and Russia, okay? So these nations are ready to go to war, man. Civil war. You're hearing about civil war, all right? These Edomites. Talking about going up against their government, and that's coming. And we're close to that, man. You don't realize how close we are to that, okay? All right? Matthew 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? Because God got more prophecies to be fulfilled. The MOTB, Jacob's trouble, and we're, hey, we're inching close to Jacob's trouble, man. Things are ramping up, man. Okay? All right? Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All right. You can already see in the famines. Okay. The famines. Okay. The food shortages. Okay. 
the pestilence, more pestilence diseases, the monkey pox, if y'all heard of that, okay? What the hell? What happened? I don't know what happened now. It's locked in. Earthquakes in diverse places. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay? We're entering into the beginning of sorrows, okay? Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and kill you, and shall, sorry, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay? So, the persecution is coming, man. All right? And that's all Esau even needs to persecute us, man. Okay? Verse 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. You already see it. All right? Like it tells you, uh, a kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. And as a matter of fact, let's go to that scripture. Okay? Because you see a, a kingdom divided. Esau's kingdom is truly divided, man. Okay. Let's go to Mark chapter 3 and verse, <clears throat> excuse me, and verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? Verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. All right. If a kingdom be divided against civil war, all right, it's going to collapse. All right. That's the, uh, the NLT version, all right? The New Living Test, the New Living Translation version, man. All right? Esau's kingdom is truly divided. These Edomites are divided against one another, man. All right? That goes to show you that the morning how about Shion Shah is bringing those curses upon those Edomites, man. Okay? And upon the heathen nations. Okay? Verse uh, five, not, verse 25. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand the house of Esau, the race, is, the race of Esau is divided, okay? Verse 26, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. And we're at his end, man, okay? So let's go back to Matthew chapter 24 and verse 10. Let's read that again. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right, verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. All right? You see that now. Okay? Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay? And you seen that at a high level, man. All right? People ain't got no love for one another anymore. All right? All right? You already seen that. All right? And you know, I'm quite sure y'all familiar. I did a lesson. All right? Showing you that this, this uh, I think it was a Jake Chick, man. That was in the subway, New York subway. All right, and this Jake was harassing her, pulling her hair, and you know, yelling out obscenities to her, man. And she was crying for help, and nobody came to her aid. All right, these are the times we're living in, man. And we keep telling you, even like women, man, you gonna be caught up in all of this shit, man. All you women that think you can do bad all by yourself, you don't need a man talking shit to your man, telling the man they ain't shit and all that. Man, you about to see, <laughs> hey, you women about to catch it, man, okay? And we keep warning you Israelite women, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American women, man, all right? It's about to become a doggy dog world out here, especially when you ain't got no more 911 to call, no uh, police to call, all right? A lot of you Israelite women, especially you Judite women, you so-called Negro women, love calling the cops on the man. Wait till there's no more cops to call. <laughs> y'all screwed, okay? Hey, the Lord, y'all about to y'all shot. gonna put a spirit on these men to kick y'all ass, man, okay? A lot of you women are about to get jacked up out here. Point blank, period, man, okay? You women are about to get it in a horrible way. Horrible judgment is about to go forth, man, all right? Let's read Matthew chapter uh, 24, verse 12 again. And because iniquity shall abound, lawlessness, sin, the love of many shall wax cold. It's about to be a cold world out here. Okay? Verse 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Only the elect is going to endure, man. Okay? Only the elect is going to endure to the end. Okay? Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And we're at the end. This gospel, this truth has reached throughout the four corners of the earth. Now we're at the end, man. Okay? All right? 
Let's go to now. Let's go to Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2. And I'm going to start at verse 1. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me up the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what shall I answer when I am reproved? Okay. Verse 2. And the Lord Yahweh shall answer me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. All right. And these visions are talking about these prophecies, man. All right. We're prophesying. Okay. We're showing you what's to come. Okay. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. These prophecies are no longer tarrying, man. Okay. We are at the end of this devil's rulership, man. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah 19. And let's read verse 1. Okay. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 1. The burden of Egypt. All right. Egypt is symbolic to America. All right. Behold, the glory of Abashim shall ride it upon a swift clown and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst, there, midst of it. Okay. And what's going to melt this place? ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay. All right. Isaiah and nuclear missiles are gonna melt this place, and the high laser beam chariots, chariot fire from the chariots of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, so hey, this place is about to get ready to melt. All right, those chariots are coming. Okay, the chariots of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, all right, 